Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, Smiley Quanta. Smile for me. I am Cinquanta Cocksmith of www.cinquantacocksmith.com. Welcome back to my channel as I continue to give you guys Canva tutorials on all types of things that you can do on Canva. I hope you are enjoying this video. And if you want a more in-depth tutorial on ways that you can use Canva, I want you to click the link, well, not on the screen, but in my description bar to purchase Canva Custom. It's $9 and it's two videos that takes you through how to build your brand on Canva, how to upload fonts, how to create workbooks and customize interiors for journals or ebooks or whatever you like to do here on Canva. So I hope you join me in that training. Now let's get into the video. All right, guys, today I am going to teach you how to create a t-shirt design in Canva that you can use for your business. Now, I've talked about this before. Some people do not recommend that you use Canva for t-shirts. I have never found um, or had a true real issue uh, when it came or comes to creating t-shirts in Canva. So again, if it works for you, it does. I think they are mainly uh, worried about the color uh, when it comes to high resolution and printing and some certain websites. Um, if you, you need to just check out their color scales and see if things are going to match up the same way. Sometimes you may need to use a duller or brighter pink to get that vibrant print that you want. But again, that is something that you can do on your own time with the research that you will do for your t-shirt designs. All right, so if you are not familiar with Canva, this is the home screen here. You see you can type in here, but what we need on this screen is currently right here where it says t-shirts. So I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to go back to show you that you can type in t-shirt here and it will pop up here as well. So now all the designs that they have um it comes up like pre-printed designs uh and like templates that you can use to create your own t-shirt you can use it to do a play off of something that you like you can change the colors etc so um here is a design here um the repeated design is super popular right now so i'm going to click on this one uh, and then I'm going to scroll down and see if there's another one and I'm going to add a page so you can have something else to look at. They do seem to be adding more uh, designs and things that people can use, which is always good because once everyone finds out about this, <laughs> they will definitely all be using these templates to create designs of their own. Um, and here's a circle design. I'm going to grab that one. And then I'm going to see if I can find one more just to show you how good you can customize these t-shirt designs that Canva has. Okay, I'm going to scroll. Uh, this one might be fun. Okay, so now I have three different designs that I can play around with. Um, First of all, the watermark is kind of always there. You can remove that. And let's change the word. Um, my word of the year this year is strategy. So I want to change each of these to that word. And you see, I changed the word. Now I have to basically uh, reposition it. And I'm gonna go ahead and change the other two as well to the word strategy. Gonna pull that out and line it back up. And I love these guidelines. They're everything, they, they help uh, you to not make the mistake of having a raggedy, uneven design. <laughs> Even if you're not familiar with graphic design, this is a perfect site for you to use in a way for you to create like a true artist, okay? So I'm going to make sure these are lined up really nice. Um, 
And then I'm going to change this and put a master plan. And then I do have my font saved in here that I kind of like to use. I like to use purples and blues for my brand color. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to take this blue background off and I'm going to change that to possibly white. You can't see it, so I'll change it to black. And then this would be a shirt that I will create. And then I can take this also and resize it because the size of this is like 14 inches by 18. Um, if I wanted to go in and make this a pixel, I could do 4157 by 5000, which is one of the main sizes that I use when it comes to creating my t-shirts. So I could copy it and resize it or I can just resize it there. So I created this from a template, but then I changed the colors and I made it my own. I could also change the fonts if I wanted to as well. So let's see some of the fonts that I have installed. So let's see. So I have this license plate font. Like if I wanted to change it to that, I could change it to that. And it would just say strategy like that. So I'm going to go back, but that's just the quickest way that you can do that. So here, this looks like it could be like a little brand front font here. So I'm, I'm obsessed with sloths. So I'm going to put sloth and I'm going to use the word loft just because it rhymes. So this could be a logo for the sloth loft. And I don't know why it's not letting me write correctly. Let me see. L O T H. Loft. And then I'll change this establish in 2020. And if I wanted to make this be black or maybe like a yellowish gold color. And once this starts to see me change a certain color, if you look down here, it'll say change all and then it'll do it all for you. So if I wanted to take this off the blue background, of course I could do that. If you wanted a background on it, you can do that and change it to any color that your heart desires. So you can see what it looks like possibly on a burgundy shirt with some gold writing. And then here, this is says ghouls wanna have fun. Um, let's change this to sloths. <laughs> I told you guys I love sloths. So a lot of my videos, I will be talking about sloths. <laughs> and that's just so we can stay. Sloths just want to have fun. Let's find some bright but fun colors. I do like this blue. Um, let's, oh, let's do like this tan. Oh, that's ugly though. Uh, I don't like that orange either. Let's see. Maybe the lime green. Maybe we could do the greens. These greens here. I'm going to remove that ghost and then find me a sloth. I'm going to probably leave. Let's see. Let's see. I've got to do both colors like the bright green and then leave this one. This as that other green. Well, I don't want the writing green. I want the actual box. Behind it. Let's see, how do I get to the box? Let me ungroup it. All right. Oh, I had it just now. There we go. So now I'm going to change that to this little. Um, where is that green? That green. And then we're going to make sure we put it back in a nice place. Okay. And let's look for um, a sloth. And I did see one earlier, um, and that's it right there. 
So it's white. Is it white? I'm going to make a white. And I have my little slough here. All right, so I'm going to put this slough in a nice little place. Uh, there you go. I'm going to move it up just a tad. All right, so now you have a little sloth shirt with a little fun uh, graphic design there. And we did this one that was super simple. And then you have the repeated one as well. So that is a good way and quick way that you will be able to create t-shirt designs um, using the templates in Canva. And now I am going to just show you how to create a design on your own in Canva without using a template. So this is the blank one here. So now we're gonna use a blank canvas and I'm just gonna basically come up with something. So, cause you guys already know I'm already on this. Um, <laughs> I'm on this sloth trend, but um, it's always good to have these font combinations that they do put together for you so you can see how words can be put together. So I do like that as well. And let's So let's do something like a quote shirt. So it basically has the quote kind of ready for you. And you can easily use that text to put it on a shirt. So we can say something like... Today was a good day, and it's super simple. And we can say, let's see, who is it by? Me. <laughs> so a simple quote shirt there. And now we're gonna add a page, and I'm gonna use some of my um, my fonts. So we're gonna find the text. I'm gonna go up here going to choose this font for now make that bigger um, make sure it's black so I can see what I'm doing until I am ready to possibly change the color I'm gonna go over here to my other font designs just to see what kind of combination um, I may be looking for so maybe I want some cursive let's see how that one looks okay so let's see sorry I like this quote. Sorry, I'm late. Late. I didn't want to come. So, you could do that on a shirt. Let me make that bigger so you can see it. Love that font. And just imagine if I wanted to do it with a different color, say I wanted to do it in blue and I wanted to put it on a yellow shirt. Oh wait, let me do yellow and then put it on a blue shirt. So now in the background, so say I want a royal blue shirt with that yellow writing, I will do it like this so I can see what it looks like. Let me bring that size down a little bit. Make sure it's even. So that's what it would look like on that color shirt. If I wanted to do white. And I do a lot of text-based designs too. But if I wanted to add like a photo or an element um, into it. Let's look. See what kind of pictures they have for like a little girl. Um, or. So this is super cute. Um, and you can change her, her colors. So. We can change her glasses uh, probably to that yellow color. And we could change her hair to, uh, let's see, it has like an orange in there, but maybe we want it that color too and leave it like that. So now you now also have a design, but you have like a little picture to go 
with your little cute design and it could go here um, you can change how the font looks and you can do it all here and then you can add her picture there um, I'm going to change this black to black and I'm going to put this on a white background so you guys can see a little bit better so here is the picture of the lady and you can do it here you can put a picture here you can put a picture here in the middle um, let's see what other styles you can do uh, and then you can space this out Space that there. And you can put her in here in the middle. So you can just move it around and kind of do whatever you want. But that's how you would make like a text based design. Super simple, super easy. If you wanted to do something again with just maybe like the sloths, you can do a sloth here on a picture and it could just be a simple you know graphic um, and you can have things super simple as just saying hi like on it let's find um, a text that I like I think I'll probably use one of those cursive texts and make sure it's black and all we want to say is hi but let me find a good cursive text for you guys so that one's a good one that i added so, and just put hi so i'm going to change it to that and now I'm going to make that bigger. All right, so. I don't like that cursor with that. So that's also another thing, like font combination. Check in to see what fonts look better with certain things. Certain fonts are better. So like this one would work perfect with this. Um, super simple. And it just says hi. And you can make this as big or as small as you want to. You can place it however you want to. But it's super simple. But it goes with that picture. So this is a quick way that you can learn to create t-shirts in Canva. I hope that you guys learned something today. It was not um, for anyone who is advanced. I understand. I know you probably learned by hand or took in a taking a course, but I wanted to be able to show something to the guys and girls who don't have any graphic design experience to let you know that I've made thousands of dollars using Canva to create t-shirt design so you can do it too you just have to keep practicing um i would come on canva every day and create something i'll look at it look at it again find inspiration um to capture how fonts should look next to each other find a perfect combination of text and graphic stuff look at the shirts that are being made in stores just to have some type of inspiration of what you should be doing. Again, don't forget that you can purchase the Canva Custom tutorial for $9. It goes over ways that you can create your own lines and planners, stationary workbooks, calendar, journal interiors, how to set up your brands, how to upload the fonts, and so much more. And again, that's on mygumroad.com backslash and Quanticock Smith. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. So I love you more than I love this video. Peace.